Well, thank you for tuning in or watching the show. I hope to let you know what we're going to be doing. My name is Rick Griffith. I'm the aerospace engineering and aviation teacher at Holland Stein. A uh, little bit about my background, then I'll tell you about the course and what to expect in the course. Um, I am a graduate of the Air Force Academy, Caltech and Stanford for graduate schools and a couple other schools. Uh, but I spent, I'm a retired military officer and I'm also spent 42 years total in industry prior to coming to teach at Hollenstein. I'm just completing my ninth year at Hollenstein and the whole time I've been here I've been teaching aerospace engineering, I've been teaching aviation, an introduction to pilot training and putting people into engineering career fields and into uh, pilot training working specifically for American Airlines as pilots. Um, the question I normally get from people are, oh, what does an engineer do? And uh, the answer is we design things that meet people's needs. We don't build things. Now, because we don't have a manufacturing department here, we are going to have to build some of the projects that we're doing. And you're going to really like some of these projects because the students that thrive in my class are the ones that have already had physics or already in pre-cal or are in calculus or calculus two. But it doesn't mean those who haven't had those cannot do well in this class. I spend the first six to eight weeks every year doing what I call leveling. Those that have had chemistry or don't have chemistry, I bring you up in your chemistry knowledge, I bring you up in your physics knowledge, I bring you up in your math knowledge so that you complete what we're going to do here. And so then we start out after that. We're in a couple of contests that culminate in what we do here and those contests are basically high powered rockets and those rockets will go either one mile exactly and that will carry a one pound payload or you must go faster than the speed of sound on a rocket without going over 13,000 feet. And the difficult part of that is not going over 13,000 feet. Uh, if you want to know what the speed of sound is, it's roughly 600, 760 miles an hour at sea level. Now you're going to have to do a lot of calculations here to determine what it is. That'll be a 35 pound rocket. And I will tell you there are only about 40 schools in the country that can do that. And there are even fewer colleges that can do that. If you can build one of these rockets here, by the way, there are no kits in these rockets. I'm going to teach you the engineering processes you need to consider engineering as a career field. Uh, and my students go on and most of them go on to become aerospace engineers or mechanical engineers or computer scientists. It all comes out of the engineering career field. And then uh, the pilots that we do and ne last, next year hopefully will be the last year for the pilots uh, training because we're going to open up a separate course just for the pilots hopefully at Meacham Field. So the pilots will come in here and they will learn how to fly. I have simulators in here, fl actual flight simulators that are approved FAA aviation flight simulators. You can log hours in it. You can sit for your uh, flight exam hours in here and if you do that then it will set you on the road to flying for American Airlines. Either job you get, either engineering or the pilot training, are the highest paid jobs you can get in the United States upon graduation from college for the engineers or upon high school for the um, actual pilot training. Starting salary for an American Airlines pilot, as all the major airlines, is $120,000. If you're 22 years old and you're making $120,000, that's excellent pay. If you don't know if that's good pay, ask your parents. Uh, for engineers, the starting salary, it ranges from $75,000 in the Dallas-Fort Worth area to $102,000 for a petroleum engineer in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. That is excellent pay for somebody coming out of four years of school. Um, the last thing I want to tell you about here is if you're consider how am I going to get to and from my high school to Hollenstein? School district provides transportation to and from. If you have a license and an insurance on your car, you can also drive to and from the campus. You'll be here two hours a day in my class and then you return to your school. And we'll be teaching second, third period, fifth and sixth period, and seventh and eighth period for my classes next year. If you have any questions, please feel free to call me. My name and uh, address and all telephone numbers will be provided to you on this episode here. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy it.